Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm Mara Hazarina Jasni. Today, in this video, me and my partner, which is Muhammad Aznizal, we represent our group, uh, which is Group 5 from Section 1. We will present the analysis of shock absorber. So, first of all, we need to open uh, the Autodesk Inventor Professional and open the model of the shock absorber. Okay. And click here. Oh, from before we click the type of model, I want to let you know that actually we design the model by using the SOLIDWORKS so we need to choose the type of design as the type of file is SOLIDWORKS file if uh, if someone create the design by using the after this inventor file just click the inventor file type here uh, because I use the SOLIDWORKS so I need to choose the SOLIDWORKS file type and then click the model okay Click OK. And okay, here the model of our shot absorber already appear, and we can proceed to the analysis of the shot absorber. Just go to uh, go to the environment, and then click the Autodesk Inventor Nasran. We need to wait for a while to open the Inventor Nasran ok here the Inventor Nasran already open and then the first step we need to uh, to do is go to the solid uh, go to the idealization uh, we need to define the solid type of material ok just click new and then choose the type of, is, of the idealization is solid element we have three types but we need to use the solid element and go to the material and click this new I new material icon to choose the material of the shot absorber click here and we choose uh, alloy steel type and then click ok and all of the properties will appear here uh, automatically will appear here and just click OK and then after we do all of that step just click OK and just click OK OK next step uh, we need to contact the surface of the shark as well just click, go to the contact toolbar here and click the icon of auto and when you click this uh, this icon it will uh, detecting the contact automatically Okay, then. Okay, um, after the surface contact already uh, done, okay, so just go, go to the mesh model. We need to mesh uh, all of this model and click edit. And then we define it. The element size of the mesh model is um, 4 mm. And then create. Uh, generate the mesh we will wait uh, the model to be match ok all the mesh are already done so just click ok and then we proceed to the next step which is we need to create the constraint of the Shot as well. So go to the constraint here and then right click and create new. And we need to select the entities that we want to constrain. Uh, okay, first of all, we need to click the fix here, fix button here because we want to fix the uh, that type element. Okay, we choose uh, this face uh, and the face all of the down. Uh, the bottom of the shot absorber which is here then we need to fix it no 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 this one okay just click that that face the whole face and then click this one click this one click all of that one okay, here 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 we click all of the element okay here go click here and here here. Okay, move to the back. Okay, select here. 
Oh, it's like here. And okay, I think it's done. Okay, go to the front back. And okay, we already select the, uh, the entities that we want to constrain. And then, uh, oh, before I forgot, we need to choose type of the constraint is structural. Okay, choose structural. Okay, it's already fixed. And then go to the okay, click okay. This already constrained, and then next step we need to put the load of this. Uh, the load on the shot is over. Go to the load here, and then right click and click new. Okay, and then move here, and then we need to choose the type of load is force, and then we want to create a load on this uh, face. So select that face. Okay already here we already select the face and then we want to create the load for only at the y direction only so this is we see here y direction is upward but we want to go to the downward so just need to click negative 2000 newton and we don't want the load create on y uh, x direction and also z direction so just click zero and then after we define the load we just click okay okay Okay, we already finished. Okay, the last step, we just go to the analysis here, click right, right click, and then solve the last solve in last run. Uh, or you can also go to the this uh, toolbar here, the upward here. Click the just click the run analysis here. It's same. Either you want to click here or here, so we just go. Okay, I want to click here. Run the analysis. Okay, wait for the analysis. Okay. See, Nasrin solution already complete. Just click OK. Okay, here the analysis we found, which is for the stress. Uh, and this is we found the maximum of the stress of the one knee stress is 66.51 MPA. And we can. Okay. And I need. Okay, this is our shot isober after we put the load and we constrain uh, the bottom of the shot isober. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is for the stress uh, analysis. Okay. Stop and limit. Okay, for the displacement, we can see. We can also see the analysis of the displacement, what we get. Just click the displacement. Okay, wait. Okay, see, the maximum of the displacement is 5. Point 4 to 3 or negative 0 3 millimeter the maximum is at the bottom of the the maximum displacement is at the bottom eh, at the bottom and the upper of the shot is over and then we we can also see the analysis of the strain okay this is the maximum of our strain 2.0 and eh, 2.703 e negative 4 Okay, we go to the front. Okay, here. Okay, we can also animate here. We can see how our shot is open move. Okay, done. I think that's all for me. And next, I will pass to ask Nizal to show about the uh, the analysis for the after the improvement of our shot is open. Thank you. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Asnizal bin Asmani. Now I will present the design improvement that we have made. Okay. We make an improvement at the very at the variable pitch, which is uh, before improvement. Our design is the is constant pitch at the spring and after we make an improvement at our design, uh, the, the spring is not constant pitch. It's variable pitch spring that we can see uh, the original design 
uh, the spring is constant while the improve, improvement uh, the pitch is very good okay now we go to inventor we we run the analysis soft in nastran Okay, after uh, we done run the analysis by soft in Nastran, we click OK. Now we wait until our design is convert. Okay, now we want to show with all of you the animation of the simulation. First, we go to the that one list. We right click, then we go animation. Okay, now we want to check uh, the stress value. Now we add the stress uh, value. We click the solid bond means stress. Okay, we know that uh, the value, the maximum value of the solid bond with stress is 46.198 megapascal, while uh, the original design is before, before improvement is 83.269 megapascal. So we can see that uh, if we make an improvement at constant pitch spring to variable uh, pitch spring, the stress is decreased. It is because uh, the stiffness of the spring. Okay, now we want to check 
the displacement after improvement Okay, now we add the displacement. The, the maximum value uh, after we make an improvement at our design, uh, the maximum displacement is 5.264 mm, while the maximum displacement on the original design is 6.780 mm. So we can see that if we make a variable pitch, on the spring, the displacement of the spring can be increased because the stiffness of the spring. All right, uh, that's all from us. Thank you.